everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a winged cat eye kind of look and I thought to myself, okay I have a hit up channel and I have yet to do the signature thing besides the red lips which is the cat eyes, the winged eyeliner. Sorry it's taking me so long um, but here it is now and one thing I do want to say, this is kind of like a half wing eyeliner. I, I don't know what to call it. And the reason I'm saying that is because this look isn't going to start at the inner corner of your eye. It's going to go about halfway and then wing out. And this look is really good for people with hooded eyes. As you can see, if you've seen my tutorials, my makeup tutorials, I have extremely hooded eyes. And I can't just get that deep crease that I would like to get. I have to work really hard for it. So yeah, I'm hoping this is going to help you. It's going to open your eyes up a lot more. I'll also be showing you the lipstick that I use, the highlighter I'm using, as well as my blush. So I hope you all like it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And let's get started. I'll be using Rimmel's Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. And the thing I love about this is that the top is an eyeliner brush. And another thing is that it's waterproof, so it won't transfer over onto your skin if you have hooded eyes. Now, I won't be using the brush that's provided, but I'm using this dual end brush from the Q Cosmetics. And what I like about this brush is that it's a lot smaller, so it'll give me a lot more control as to where I want the product to go. And since my eyelids are smaller, that's what I want. So I'm just going to start in the middle of my eyelid and just kind of map out where I want my line to go and how I want it. So we're going to stay close to the lash line and just add the product there from the middle to the outer corner. And we're just going to start building it up little by little. And now we're going to get started with our wing. So we're going to start at the inner corner and then we're just going to slowly wing it out. And I have to um, lift the brush a little bit because my eyelids, again, they're pretty saggy. <laughs> and now we'll be connecting it. So we don't want to go all the way to the tip yet. We're just going to go close but not too close. And now we'll just start filling it in. So from here, we're going to just get rid of that dent and we're going to try to blend it in for a better seamless cat eye look. So we wanna get as close to our lash line as possible to the point where you can't see where the line starts. And we're just again going to start building it up from here on out so it'd be easy if you go to the outer corner and just push the product in and there you have a nice straight line and you can stop here if you like but if you like to be a little bit more dramatic then you can keep adding product and I like to add a lot of product on my outer corners just because of the shape of my eyes And here you have it. So this is the look. Mine's pretty dramatic. Now we're going to curl our eyelashes. And what I like to do is start close, as close to the lash line as possible. Hold for 10 seconds, release, and then curl the middle of the lashes. Hold for 10 seconds again and then release and curl the end of the lashes. And the point of that is just so you have more of a round look instead of that dented in eyelash look. And I'll be using my Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I love this mascara. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on it, but I personally like it. It's really easy to build up product onto the lashes and I like that. So 
so I'll be using my dual lash glue and the eyelashes I'm using are the Ardell lashes in number 305 and these are corner lashes so they're gonna give that really natural looking effect and since they're so small I'm going to use tweezers to apply them and as you can see they only reach my outer corners and if you want some more dramatic looking ones, you can just buy some regular eyelashes and just cut them down the middle. And here I'm just getting it again as close to my lash line as possible. And I'm just blending in my real lashes with the fake ones. And this is how they look. A lot more natural looking. Now I'm just going to grab a little bit more of eyeliner product and just kind of fix whatever I want to fix and just cover that gel at the top from um, the glue because I do not want the glue to be showing. I'll be using this Jewel Light eyeliner and it's from Pretty and Cute and I love it because it has just that shimmer sparkle in the eye and I think it just looks really great for opening up the eyes. It's not your normal plain white matte eyeliner so it just adds a little bit more glam to the eyes. And the color is called One Carat Diamond. And just put a light layer of mascara on your lower lashes. My newest obsession is this heart highlighter from Pretty and Q. And what you do is you break up one of the little hearts into the container. Don't break up all of them because that's just too much highlighter. And this is what comes out of it. It's just like powder and you just take a blending brush and just use a little bit of product. You do not want to use a lot because then your face will be way too shiny. But as you can see, all I used was a blending brush and used a small amount wherever I want to highlight my face. And this product lasts so long. The only downside is that the container is plastic, but you do get a lot of product. So I think it's worth the money. And as you can see, it just looks gorgeous on the skin. And I'll be putting a small amount at the ridge of my nose and in between my eyelashes just to give that nice shine. Now the blush I'll be using is from Wet n Wild and it's called Mellow Wine. And I love this one because it has kind of a brown tint to it. I know it's kind of hard to see but it looks really nice on my skin color. And I'm just using an Eco Blush Brush from BH Cosmetics. Now this next product I suggest every pinup go out and get this. It's the NYX Matte Lipstick in Perfect Red. I bought this at Target and it was I believe $6 and I have been so obsessed with it. It's supposed to be matte but it does have a little bit of shine but it really moisturizes the lips. And now I'm outlining it with Beautique's um, Lip Liner and this is in Sienna and it's just a darker red. And I used a darker red just to give my lips more of that dimension in them. I kind of don't really use even reds anymore. I like outlining a lot darker kind of to give it that ombre look just because it makes the lips look a little bit more pouty and have more dimension. And here's the final look. So I wanted just to keep it, you know, pretty simple with the eyeliner. Nothing too big and dramatic like I normally do. So I hope you all like it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I love you. Bye.